today I thought I would do a little review of this digital art pad that I purchased. Um, I kind of wanted one with a screen for a while, but then I realized that I have three screens, so uh, I thought I would save myself several hundred dollars and uh, just get one that I've heard a lot of good things about. Um, this is the Huion H10, H610 Pro V2. Um, a friend of mine mentioned that she has this uh, 610 Pro, like, I don't know, the one before this one. Uh, and she's had it for a while and she really loves it. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's open the box. Smells good. Thank you for choosing Huion. Warranty stuff. Here's the pad itself. Mmm, it's beautiful. Cool, it's got all these little buttons. Alright. Um, I think this is a drawing glove. Is that how it goes? Um, this is weird. Yeah, I guess so that I don't rub accidentally and make marks that I don't want. <laughs> cool, dude. Alright, alright, we got a glove. Um, this here is a gift. Y'all shouldn't have, really. I don't know what those are. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. I'll get into those in a minute. I want to see the pen. Here's the pen. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Is this... I guess these are extra nibs. Cool. Alright. And... This pen goes like that. Neat. Looks like it uses a mini USB connector. We've got some USB adapters. Different types of USB cable. Alright, I think that's it. Plugs right in there. I'm looking forward to this. This here is a drawing that I found in an old sketchbook I was flipping through uh, a little while ago. I just found it and it was unfinished and it just looked good to me. Uh, I guess I stopped working on it because it didn't at some point and I wanted to work on other things or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, it's also kind of a simple drawing. Um, it's just two objects and lots of background. Uh, so I figured it would be perfect to finish up and uh, try scanning in and working on in Photoshop. 
Um, so working in Photoshop is one of the things that I wanted to get better at during this whole quarantine thing. Um, there's so much you can do in Photoshop and, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just kind of want to get better at doing digital stuff, like expand my, my options artistically. Um, yeah, there, there's just so much you can do. Um, and I'm sure <laughs> as you watch this, you'll notice, I'm just trying to cut these things out and, uh, play with the background, maybe enhance the color and shadow of these chords, uh, a bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to put them on a blank page at this point, and you're kind of seeing me struggle here, figuring out how to do that. Um... There are so many ways of doing different things in Photoshop, like there are five different ways to do this, I'm sure, and uh, probably all of them are easier than what I'm doing. Uh, the <laughs> I think this is called the lasso tool or the quick selection tool or something, um, but this is like the most tedious tool for me in Photoshop. I get so frustrated and OCD about Zooming on, zooming in on every single little pixel and trying to decide which one I want. Uh, it's, <laughs> I don't know. It, uh, it drives me nuts. And there's actually a point where I had to, during the recording of this, I had to start over again because Photoshop just completely froze on me. Um, I've since reformatted my computer. Um, or rather, like, erased the hard drive and just kind of, not the hard drive, but, um, reinstalled Windows and, uh, things have sped up a bit. And I think that was part of the problem. I just had some, some wonky computer issues and stuff running in the background and, uh, a nice refresh was, was, uh, a good way of fixing that. Anyway, uh, this pad here, I guess we're doing a review video, so, um, yeah, this Huey on tablet's nice. I graduated from a Wacom tablet, which I actually haven't used in years, so I guess I can't really say I graduated, I just bought a different pad, and, uh, it's bigger, this one's bigger than my old one, um, by, like, double, and, uh, I really like it. It's, it's responsive, um, the pen is nice. It's wireless. Um, doesn't need to be charged or anything. It just works magically. Uh, I think it has 8,000 something different pressure points. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, granted, this is a really simple drawing. I really just was playing around with brushes and stuff. Oh man, I, I'm kind of addicted to brushes. Um, so I get it now. I get the hype. Uh, I tried, uh, some, this website called True Grit. Uh, they have a bunch of cool comic-y sort of brushes and stamps and things. Um, there was one other one. Uh, Groot. Groot brushes. I bought a big brush pack from them. Um, pretty affordable. I think it was like 600 different brushes or something, and it was like $30. I don't know if that still exists, but, uh, yeah, they've got a ton of brushes, and they're all super fun to play with. Um, aside from this drawing, I did one other, where I just, like, got a blank pad and, uh, tried every single brush and all these different colors and just made a huge mess, and it was a ton of fun. Uh, I think I spent, like, three hours playing with all those brushes. Um... But anyway, yeah, uh, this pad rocks. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something affordable. Um, I think this was 50-ish dollars. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, um, all that good stuff. And I'll, uh, see you next time. Have a good week.